Spaghetti noodles have actually been the source of a great physics mystery for many centuries. If you take an uncooked spaghetti noodle and try to break it, you'll find an excitingly puzzling event occurs. The noodle doesn't just snap in half. It practically shatters, spraying uncooked spaghetti noodle all over your kitchen. The reason this happens wasn't actually known until quite recently. Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman pondered the idea heavily during his time on Earth, but unfortunately he wasn't able to live to see the answer. In 2005, French scientist Basil Aldali and Sebastian Newkrik finally nailed down the solution to the famed spaghetti problem. They conducted an evaluation of spaghetti noodles as brittle rods to determine the exact way in which they fractured under force. They found that when a thin rod like a spaghetti noodle is bent through the application of equal force to each end, it snaps in two. However, after the initial breakage, the piece flexes back in reaction, creating a series of flexural or bending waves. These waves are what break the spaghetti into more pieces. This discovery of spaghetti physics or thin rod physics, made headlines in 2005. It was the solution to decades of theory from world-class minds. While the reason behind spaghetti noodle breaks was discovered now 15 plus years ago, a new scientific endeavor was pioneered as of recent. A group of MIT researchers investigated whether it would be possible to break a spaghetti noodle into two pieces exactly. What they discovered they released in a paper. The team theorized that some kind of torsion or twisting force applied to the noodle might be able to counteract the flexural waves. This was the theory, but now they needed a way to test it. MIT scientists went on to build a machine that would hold a spaghetti noodle and allow them to apply equal defined forces to each end, as well as specify the twisting angle of the noodle. After running through thousands of noodles in thousands of tests, they found that if you twisted the noodle and then applied equal force to each end, the noodle would break into just two pieces. Specifically, the team found that if you twisted the uncooked noodle 270 degrees and then bent the ends at 3 millimeters per second, the spaghetti would break perfectly. The twisting snapback after breakage was found to counteract the flexural waves and essentially mitigate any further breakage, just as they had theorized. This is the complex research being done on spaghetti noodles. So what does all this research mean for you, the spaghetti consumer? It means that with a little bit of practice, you might be able to perfect a nifty dinner party trick. Or at the very least, it means that you know just a little bit more about the world around you, and that's pretty cool too.